I've been singing the same old song for the last year. I've been saying it several times. Off War Sports back again for a little bit. Tyson Fury versus Wilder. I said he was stiff. I said he was a one-hit wonder. I got a video that states Tyson Fury is the best heavyweight in the in the world right now. I said that last year. Quote me on it if you want. All right. It proved true tonight. The man 6'9", 85 reach, 273 pounds. That's solid versus poor man's Wilder, the one hit genius who is a, is a fighter I respect and love to watch. However, his skill set is not there. And it was only a matter of time before he got exposed and similar to other fighters who face people of their own stature, that means bigger or taller. He has met somebody that had the exact same length as him. More height, more weight, and there went the problem. The weight thing was never really uh, an advantage for Wilder. Uh, slim gentleman, usually comes in at 216, 220. Came into this fight at 231. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. I think that he should have came in at 216, 220, what he's comfortable with, and let the guys have made the mistake, you know, made the judgment if that was a smart or irrational move. But back to the fight, it was domination from the early rounds all the way through the end. Tyson Fury came in, exerted his dominance, his strength, truly ragdolling Mr. F Mr. Wilder. Hopefully, Wilder doesn't go on a weight hunt and try to get more weight because. It's that slim stature and his ability to pick up speed with his slim frame that makes his power so obvious. That's what it's coming from. He's able to wield those skinny, wiry arms at 150 plus miles per hour and hit you. The more weight you get, the less power you're going to have, even though a heavier set fighter will weigh, weigh down on you. But realistically, you want to be slighter, slighter frame, just like Wilder to be able to attract more power because you can swing it faster. In the case of Fury, he doesn't have that much power, but he has he had 273 pounds behind him. So that goes back to the fact of the wear down. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, a one hit to the head in the third round really changed the the identity of the fight. Okay, it really, it really changed the dynamics. Wilder wasn't the same. Equilibrium off. Ears were bleeding. Uh, again, lack of foot movement, lack of head movement when throwing a punch. The situations he was putting himself in was not ideal for a heavyweight boxer. The, the hourglass ran out in summary. That's what happened tonight. And, and Wilder had a great run. But we all knew, everybody that knows boxing, that watches boxing, looked at Wilder's footwork and said, Jesus Christ, what is that? What is that? It's stiff. I mean, flat-footed. You know, head movement's kind of weak. Now, what will be interesting is Usyk. Alexander Usyk is the interesting storyline out of this, okay? And what happens to all the Euro belts that are happening right now? We got all the European fighters that are holding the belts right now. There's nothing in America. So now it's just like, hey... What is, what is the team over there going to do? Are they going to just keep it over there? Is there any USA fighter that's really a competitor to win a belt? To be honest with you, I'm going to tell you, no, there isn't. You're going to see several USA fighters still get fights. People are saying they're going to be locked out. I don't think they're afraid anymore. I told you Dylan White versus Wilder would have been a great fight. Okay? I still think that's a great fight. I think that's a great fight. Now, I heard Wilder has a rematch clause. If I'm him, because you got no choice, you basically lost two times to Tyson Fury, I would take it. If I'm him, I would take it and say, hey, let's make a trilogy. But the mechanics and the skill set that Tyson Fury has with years of boxing, the foot movement, playing with him, I think it's going to be the same story, okay? It's going to be the same story. Now, Tyson was singing and after. I don't want him to get in that uh, mold where he starts to uh, truly – make uh, stupid moves where he starts drinking again and he starts making mistakes on exactly what he's going to do 
uh, for the next fight, lack of preparation. Ideally, what happens to Tyson is maybe he'll start to rest on his wins and start to st- fall back on his training and get back to the heavier set Tyson Fury, which was a no bueno. Great coaching change move as well. Made him the aggressor of this fight. A lot of changes for Fury that, uh, uh, again, put him in the positive light in, in, in last night's fight. Wilder, same old Wilder. Is that already just, that's the discussion of the fight. Same old Wilder. What he is, what he was, is what he is. <laughs> he is what he is. All right, no changes there. That was the problem piece. I think that's somewhere where he needs to improve and look to have a better, I guess, a better output, uh, more jabs utilizing that. I don't know if so he said something's wrong with his leg. Uh, you know, that could be true. Uh, but again, I, I, I say this several times before. These fighters go in with a lot of a lot of ifs and question marks in their bodies. You're not going to go into a fight healthy. You're not going to play 82 game NBA season healthy. You're not going to play a 14 or excuse me, 18 game NFL season healthy. That's not going to happen. Okay, everybody's dealing with injury. I bet you Tyson has some as well. It is what it is. That's how you train. Make sure you train and set you up for a win. Make sure that make sure they set you up and have you in the best shape possible to attract the win. And that's the big issue that happened with Wilder tonight. He's saying he wasn't at full strength. We don't know about that. So, you know, we have to figure that out. If he's saying he wasn't at full strength, there's other things that he needs to do. There's other things that he needs to do as a fighter. You know, if he's saying he was not at full strength, he really needs to look at himself in a different light and try to figure out where he goes from here as a fighter. What skill sets can he attain to get to the next level. It has to be assessment. It has to be a game change. It has to be a coaching change as well. I don't like the coaching for Wilder. Okay? I don't like the way the things are set up for him. Okay? I think there's definitely things that need to happen so he can improve himself. I do not like the coaching change in Wilder. It makes no sense to me. Okay? And that's the other big thing. Wilder Wilder's always trying to fight uh, in a way that he's preparing for that knockout. Why? Why not set yourself to fight in a different manner? Why not try to set yourself up with the jab and 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 and, and, and try to work your way in, use your feet? Water doesn't do that, and that's his issue. So off work sports, I'm having issues tonight a little bit with Deontay and his output. I think there was better things that could have been done. Uh, he didn't do his best tonight, um, but his best wouldn't have been better than Tyson Fury. I think he has to reassess, change coaching. He is the best American heavyweight available, so there's not going to be much else they can go on. Uh, but uh, right now, he's the best. You know, he's the best we can offer. Uh, I'm still an American, so I want to see them be successful. There has to be other young pups that come up with talent. You can see who's behind them: Gerald Martin, Gerald Washington, and Martin. That was a horrible fight. I mean, so there's really nothing else there uh, but Wilder and Ruiz. They're luckily in the same camp. Let's see if they can squeeze in and take some titles or maybe England relinquishes some because I think it was good box office ticket seats to have this English, England versus USA battle. It's fun to see, but there's really nothing, no talent in boxing right now in the USA that's going to be able to survive any of the UK brigade. And that's simply for the fact that uh, I don't want to give excuses. We got a lot more sports. So you're not going to see athletes jump into boxing when you got basketball, football, baseball. There's so many other sports where top talent can go and not risk the injuries that you'll get in boxing. So why would they get in boxing, right? That's the question, Mark. You got to ask yourself. We'll see what happens next. All four sports, I'm signing off. Great night. Tyson Fury dominated. I said it months ago. Look at my video. I said he's the best heavyweight in the world. He proved it true tonight, beating Deontay Wilder. Joshua's next. Off Work Sports, I'm out. Peace.